Hey there everyone, I'm Round the Wheel and welcome to Threads of Fate, a Squaresoft RPG released back in the time when Square wasn't afraid to release an RPG that didn't have Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts in the title. Although, RPG fortunes were looking up significantly more than they were now. Anyway, this is a fan request by Give Me a New User, whom you might know better by his Brywheel name, uh, Lyris, his Brywheel forum name. And we are going, to, and he, uh, he wanted to see this played, and you know, this is the first request that's really come along that I thought, yeah, I can take that on, and uh, I will, I will do it if you, uh, if, and, uh, and he hooked me up and stuff, and he wanted to see it happen, so he made it happen, and here it is happening. And so we are going to uh, start in on a new game. We can play as either, oh, ho, 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 a vibration function, eh? Hmm, I don't think I really need that outside of the bedroom, so I will decline for now. Choose your character. We've got Rue, the mysterious boy. And we've got the spunky princess, Mint. Uh, Mint is the more... Her quest is more fun and lighthearted, and she eventually becomes the more overpowered character. But we're going to play as Rue first. We will eventually do both quests, but we're going to do Rue first, because work comes before play. So let's uh, let's sit back and watch this little, little cutscene. Today is going to be pretty exposition heavy. That is a real piece of shit looking tadpole right there. Gotta say. Whoa, hello. What are tadpoles doing out in the snow anyway? I thought they were cold blooded creatures. Woo, he's big and scary. Why is he focusing on that one cabin? And Rue lives platonically with Claire. They're not like they're not even brother or sister or anything. They're just they're just two folks living platonically together who happened upon each other one day. Oh, must not have the disc space for snow. Oh well. Yes, stars in the sky. Very strange. Not something you see every day, definitely. Clear skies equals bad news. I never noticed that Rue has this kind of white hair peeking out from under his hat. Huh. Makes him seem older than he looks, I guess. He looks like a kid, but he's got like little white sideburns. Get rid of those sideburns, Mattingly. Ah, Claire. You are just the worst. I hate it when people say, you're thinking too much. There's no such thing as overthinking of overthinking things. How dare you, Claire. Yeah. Why don't you go take a trip? Why don't you go use the fresh air? I've been cooped up in here. I've been kind of wanting to flick the bean for a few days, and this is a one room. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I'm an awful person. <laughs> uh, I hate that phrase. Why did I use it? Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Get you some venison jerky. Get it. Get it. So that's when I strike. Good old deer stew. I'm num 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 num. I'll catch it with my bare hands. My funky disc axe thing. Disc axe thing. I got sent toward the door. So I'll just uh, take one of those baguettes from off the wall for a quick snack. I love how you can observe things in this game. I love any game where you can walk up to stuff and observe things by pressing the button. I just love details like that. Yeah, I know. She's got dinner on the stove. Now, I want to see what's in this little cabinet. Okay, well, fine. After dinner's cool, too. Oh, cool. All it took was a little bit of running around, I guess. There was actually rabbit stew in the pot over by the thing. I actually filmed this once earlier, but again, Camtasia eated it. Just like we're eating this stew with our block fists. Oh, let's just eat our giant blocky hands. <laughs> oh, primitive PlayStation polygon puppetry. This game doesn't look bad, actually. There's no, there's no like voice acting or anything, which is kind of a godsend considering the era we're dealing with here. Star Ocean 2, Claude. <laughs> But no, this doesn't look as like as 
This doesn't look as creepy as like Goldeneye or something, where their faces didn't ever move or blink or anything. These just the people in Threads of Fate look kind of like they look kind of like little puppets that just uh dangle along and stuff. Oh yes, we're getting into uh, talk of when. Oh oh, she's gone into her headspace. Talking about here when uh Rue came to that. That was two two whole flipping years ago. My how time flies when you're not having any fun in a studio apartment. Oh, what'd you do, Rue? She's not talking. You pissed her off. She doesn't want dinner. I don't know what you did, Rue, but she just pissed her off. That's a that's a weird uh, it's probably just some dog yakking on a bone. Hmm. Well, uh, I'll go take old Edge over there. Uh, babe, please. It's me. Pro probably just a dumb wolf. I'll just slaughter it before it even knows what happened. <laughs> well, uh, okay. That's funky and strange. No animals, no tracks. What is that noise then? At last what? Whoa, shit, motherfucker! Ho oh, ho! Holy shit, look at that claw. So big, it has like its own nuclear power plant. Oh, you should have just stayed inside. Look what you got yourself into. Man, that is a battle of wills, tell you what. <laughs> that was all me, except for the part where I got knocked down. That was where the game took over. Honest, I swear. Uh-oh. And here's the end. Thanks for playing. Oh, honey, no. Oh, honey. Oh, oh, honey. You just made a huge mistake. <laughs> Holy shit, he just, like, palmed him. Just woof. Uh, uh, Claire? You better book it, Claire! Oh! God, that, like, look on her face. Like, I don't know, the, the, the lighthearted puppetry makes it worse somehow. Like, there was no blood or anything. But you know she just took it in the face, like, pa! And it was bad. Oh, God, it gives me the willies just to see that guy lay her out. Uh, uh. Hey, Mint, sup, baby? And now three years have passed. I love how they put relic in parentheses, like it's some untranslatable word. And it's just like, it's just like, and I still don't have a clue where the relic is. I think we're getting pretty close, though. I'll never give up. I'll never surrender. Uh-oh. Looks like we made our way onto, like, the Kappa Phi Delta ship here or something. Hey, bro, got any grub? Ah, ha, ha, yes. Blood and Smokey. I do remember those guys. They are pretty great. I said I'll feed your fat ass when I get the dough. <laughs> well, at least they're partners in crime. It would be bad if one of them was a good guy and one of them was a bad guy. At least they went down the same road together. Unless he means brudda in the, like, soul brudda sense. Heh, <laughs> heh, keep your voice down, butthead. Heh, <laughs> heh, alright, listen up. A legendary treasure, eh? Hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. Okay. Haha, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if we find the damn thing. <laughs> There is a lot of mild cursing in this game. I do remember that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this game is rated everyone. I have the... We'll get, we'll get the jewel case here. Mild animated violence and mild language. Yeah, it's mild language, but there's a lot of it. There's like damn... And it's n n nothing worse than anything I've said so far. But there's just like a lot of dams and hells and bastards and whatnot. <laughs> there's another one right there. How the hell should I know? Boy, this, this game would have scandalized 10-year-old Uncle Roundy. Yes, because all great treasures are completely humongous. That's the truth. Alright, good job eavesdropping, Rue. You're hot on the trail. 
It's that big, giant, red, throbbing clue? Yeah, what is that? What the hell, oh, operator? That is three mild curses. <laughs> Blarg. Who says Blarg when a ship gets knocked over? That's the dumbest thing. I <laughs> That's the first thing that pops out of my mouth when I, you know, dock into the harbor. It was probably just landing on the dock. Jeez, you ever ridden in a boat before, guys? Good God. You weirdos. Yeah, Rue has kind of a struggle with memories, as I recall. Kind of like myself in this game. I don't remember a whole lot about it, but some things kind of ring a bell. Who's old, who's old Hawk Nose here? The name's Davis. Julia Davis. Oh, yes, that's what you want to say at the beginning of your game, how slow it is. <laughs> I mean, it's no Dragon Quest Seven, but... Oh, well, uh, fascinating. Mm, yes. Uh, oh, yeah, they're with me. I like some of the camera angles they've got in this game. You know, for a, for like a, this is kind of like the single camera sitcom of PlayStation RPGs. You know, very, very nice little intimate angles. It's very cinematic, despite the fact that nobody ever, you know, really talks or changes expression. I really like it. Ooh, I like the sound of forest ruins. How did they get information like this? Blood and polo boots here. I don't know. Maybe you should get to know him first, Davis. Sounds pretty judgy to me. Yeah, you keep on walking. I'm going to go check out those forest ruins. Maybe stay away from judgy villagers like you, sir. I don't think so. Let's see. Let's let's run around. Okay, circle is jump. Uh, what else we got? Triangle doesn't do anything. Neither does square. Neither does X. X is actually our examining button, I do believe. So, uh, can I jump up on this cliff? Oh, boring. Anything behind this uh, little plank here? I know I can look at stuff in houses. Oh, hey, here we go. Hit the town. I love that song. That is such a great... Yeah, seems like a nice little... Seems like the kind of place where they have parties. They got this big old empty open square here. Ah, uh, we'll go ahead and talk to some townspeople. Uh, just some important ones anyway. Uh, let's, uh, let's see, what's here? We'll go into any doors that we can open for now anyway. Oh, yes, I, I would happen upon the church first, wouldn't I? I'm going to jump on the priest's head here. <laughs> well, hello, Doyle. Have you seen Father Ted around? Father J Feck! 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 <laughs> wow, that's pretty deep, actually. Sounds like you got the whole cosmic thing down. Hmm, very, very nice. Uh, sure, I guess. Uh, why not? Why don't we stand before our half-naked lady of the peace here? Uh, excuse me, I'm praying, you money hog. <laughs> Fuck your couch, dude. Man, what a money-grubbing church. See if I ever come back here again. Unless I happen to need some kind of silly important upgrade. I can't just jump off the rail? Man, this game does not trust you as far as it can throw you. What's going on? Well, I guess we better fill out an incident report. I guess you could call them that, because that is a word in the English language. Alright, so best to leave you alone, I suppose. Ooh, fun. Yeah, I'm hoping to make a few of those myself. Maybe uh, throw a coin in the wishing fountain and you'll get what, you, get what you're after. Uh-oh. Jeez, I haven't even been here five minutes and people already want my money and want me running around doing errands and shit. Okay. Good lord. The family that doesn't stay together is probably dead, so... Well, uh, I hate to break this to you, but I know a few things about people who... Oh, hey, what's this little back alley? What's going... Ooh, this is a nice little comfy spot. Hey, I'm liking it. Hey, Mr. Policeman. No, I don't. Uh, why... Aha, he's one of those guys I can talk to multiple times, and he'll say different things. Oh, did you? Well, you used to be, but you're not now. 
Boy, you just never shut up, do you? Well, okay. Okay, now he's just saying the same stuff over and over again. Well, if I need any advice, I'll be sure to forget all about this little place. Whoa, ho, ho, hello. You got a sweet flipping ride, though. This is a pretty little backwoods area. That's nice. Be sure to look around town, see stuff like this. What's going on? What's going on in of doors here? Hello? Hello? Anybody? Oh, here's my save point. Okay. Insufficient free block. How dare you? Uh. Uh, any other memory cards? Aha! Here we go. Um. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save in slot two here. Yes. I'll go ahead and save. There we go. I can just, uh. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's okay. I'll just sign up at the little mini keg here. Have a little bit of paella anchovy salad and be on my way, I think. All right. Anybody else we need to talk to in town? I think there's a few more alleyways we can, uh... Oh, wow. Okay, well, shop is closed up. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? How about in here? Have I already been in here? Oh, no, this is the fancy hotel. I I keep trying to do circle to talk to people. I think I've got Legend of Mana on the brain. Ho, ho, ho. This is pretty pricey for a small town. Yipes. Okay, so, uh, oh, hey, yes, another back alley. How about in here? Anybody doing anything important here? No? Yeah, that's, that's some great customer service you're providing there, pal. Gotta say. Man, this relic is drawing in all the tourists. No wonder everything's so expensive. They're trying to make some dinero while they got that tourist money coming in. Well, he's... Yeah. Klaus and Myra. And they're probably Elena's parents. Using deductive logic. Yep, sure enough. Sure enough, and yes, I do. Well, you know, that's kind of funny that you say that, because she's out of town right now. Uh, there's at least one more back alley to explore back here, but... uh. I think uh, we ought to stop here for now, and uh, next time we'll hit up, I think this leads out to the forest, if memory serves. Yeah, we'll go out to the forest next time, and uh, hey there, Shiny. What's the... Ha ha ha! Picking up a bronze coin. Hello, Mr. Shiny. Is that King's Quest V Exploration coming in handy there? Oh, I'm going to love a game where I can investigate stuff. I can look at stuff with the X button, and I can pick stuff up off the ground. That's my kind of game right there. That's my kind of RPG there where I can observe. And next time we'll go into the forest and look for more like-minded souls who are checking out that relic. And we'll see what we can find. And uh, probably also check out this back alleyway too. It looks dark and dangerous. Looks like looks like I'll be sucking milk through a hose if I go back there. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm disgusting. <laughs>